Hello students, nerds and professionals. Today we're going to look at creating surfaces and surfacing in FreeCAD. I'm going to use FreeCAD link, but the process on FreeCAD is exactly the same. Big thank you to Chris G from FreeCAD forums for giving me a hand and for creating these lovely surface workbenches. To begin, first we need to make six surfaces out of these six sketches. We're going to use the part workbench and we're going to use the create a ruled surface tool. For that tool to work, we need to select two edges and simply click the tool. Right, there we have a flat surface. So now repeat the same process for the rest of the um, sketches. Okay, six planes, six surfaces. Let's now hide the uh, sketches. All sketches hidden. Now we have surfaces, edges, and vertices. Next, we're going to move to the curves workbench and we're going to use the um, blend surface tool. For that to work, you need to first select one edge and the face that it's connected to. Select the other edge and the face that it's connected to. And click the Blend Surface tool. Repeat for the rest of the shapes. One edge, second edge, first edge, first face, second edge, second face. Click. First edge, first face, second edge, second face, blend. First edge, first face, and second edge, second face. Last one, first edge, first face, second edge, second face, blend. Now we have this smooth surface. All we have to do is fill in this gap. For that, we're going to use the surface workbench. Click the uh, filling tool and start selecting edges. Now these edges have to be in sequence, two, three, four, five. And we have this lovely patch. Now if we change the viewport draw style to shaded, you'll see that it's not exactly smooth. I mean, it's, it's pretty damn close, but you can clearly see edges, sharp edges. It's just not perfect. For that, we need to open the surface that we just created and select each of the edges that we selected previously. Double click and select the adjacent face to the edge and select our continuity. This time I'm going to use G1 continuity for that smooth finish. Repeat the same for the, for the rest of the edges. It's a bit time consuming, but it's worth the wait. Right, that face one. And that is it. That's our perfectly smooth surface. Now, if we want to inspect the smoothness and the continuity of the surface further, we can use what's called a zebra tool. It'll show smooth lines without any disjoint edges if the surface is smooth. And it will show broken lines where the surface isn't smooth or continuous. That's it for today's lesson. And don't forget to support FreeCAD's development. Thank you, I'll see you soon.